this P program, the personal information program that you can have on your cell phone, um, it isn't, I, I showed a key before, it's like you, you have a key and that's how you access your personal information and so your information is not actually stored on your phone, which is true, um, but what, what I did wasn't clear about is you have an app on your phone and the app accesses the data and the app also allows you to pull the data off the server um, and so f for some of that data I don't think you're going to be able to access it outside your phone you're not going to be able to pull it out as a object unless you have someone else's identifier like so someone else's key like a doctor's key which is very specific to a doctor which is registered because these are certificates that are registered to um, whoever is, is allowed to have that certificate all right, so um, this P program, which is the P program, the, also can be used to access um, this cryptocurrency I've talked about. Um, it, it, because I've talked about starting, I, I wanna do a two currency system. I don't know if I'm gonna do that right away, but I definitely think we should work on a digital currency that's flexible, that's transferable, that is take off lineable. Oh my gosh, how, how do we take cryptocurrency offline? Well, actually what you do is you take the take a block, you take the entire server and you can store it offline, but when it comes back online, it has to verify to the central server that this um, public ledger is back online. So, because this, this cryptocurrency is, it's actually cryptocurrency, it's transferable person to person, it's usable on Craigslist because I want the cryptocurrency to be used for used goods a lot. For like, uh, if I if I want to sell my uh, fancy glasses, um, then I should be able to sell that on Craigslist and be able to get that cryptocurrency, which can be used for food and um, like essential items such as tampons. Um, I think probably like aspirin and Tylenol that those count as essential items. Um, I think medicine counts as an essential item. So. Um, the, the whole this this cryptocurrency the reason that I want to develop it is because I think we need a second currency that can be used for green transactions that encourage companies to be registered as green companies because um, if can can a karate class um, can, can a karate dojo register as a green company yes they could uh, you can be a karate instructor you can teach your classes in a public park and next thing you know you're registered as a green company and you get that you get that green currency and you're allowed to transfer it for dollars because there is a, an exchange rate which is it, it's paired it's exactly the same it's it's worth a dollar um, but um, you could also just use it for food and stuff like that which I feel like it's going to be such a commonly used um, currency it's a, it's a lot like the Chinese cryptocurrency they just came out with where um, you can do person to person transactions even without being able to connect to a central server so you can have phone to phone transactions, um, which um, reminds me, uh, this cryptocurrency would also be able to connect to your Apple Pay or whatever, because um, um, there would be a, an API written for it, so that you, there'd be a computer program written for it that allows uh, Apple to connect their program to this program, because we want to have a lot of ways to transfer this, this currency, but the main way is phone to phone, um, and so, um, when I talk about this P, the P information, which, um, I am going in for a job interview, I, he says, oh, do you have this app? And I go, oh yeah, sure. And so I, um, I have another password specifically for the P app. Cause I don't want anybody, I don't want my girlfriend to, she knows my password, my phone. I don't want her to know how to get into my personal information. I definitely don't want her to go and look at my medical records. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to have a password on that. So I type my password and I go, okay, I need to pull off this information for my job history. And I, so I click on job because there are different export types because there's like job export, there's medical export, there's tax export. Um, but there's like, uh, so like there probably would be financial export is specifically was what it'd be called for banks. If you wanted to just give your, give bank all your information. Um, but one of the great things about the P program is that it would help you to do your taxes. So your W-2 information and all that would be stored on there. So um, it would allow us to streamline um, taking care of people's taxes. Um, if it's 
I mean, obviously everyone can do it the old fashioned way still. Um, it, it, you have to have, have the option to do it because I don't want to use the program. I'm uncomfortable entering all this information in a database. It, it, because, but what, what you could also do is inf input part of the information and then the form is partially filled out and then you fill out the rest of the form by hand, um, which is what I, I think a lot of people are going to do is because some people don't want to have their work history written in there. I personally wouldn't care. Um, but okay, so this allows you to do your taxes. Um, or it allows you to at least like expedite the process of doing your taxes so you have less to fill out. But uh, I've talked about doing a TurboTax type government program, which um, is like a, a, a artificial intelligence type program, which allows us to choose which path you answer questions down. Because we wanna give you the best possible refund. We wanna give everyone the best possible refund. Donald Trump shouldn't be the only person that pays $750 in taxes when he's a billionaire. We should all pay $750 in taxes, except for the poor people. And the poor people, we should all be given money regularly. And by the way, I still haven't received my government stimulus money yet. All right, so um, the P program is for a lot of purposes. It's for, um, the military, my mom is filling out all sorts of paperwork right now for my dad's disability for the military and she has been filling out paperwork with this guy for like months. Like every time I see her, she's filling out paperwork. Um, so the gov if, if you're in the military, oh, here, here's, here's how you access my information. Suddenly the forms are all filled out for you. You don't have to fill out a million forms. It's already taken care of, except for this. And then it tells you which parts of the form weren't filled out. And then you can, uh, you have the option to uh, uh, type in information like, well, we missed this. And then you go, okay, well, here you go. Um, that's for another part of the program. All right, so anyways, Let's do this program. I think it's gonna make a lot of people's lives easier and it's gonna make um, our businesses more efficient.